In this lesson, we're going to think about the concept of less. We've talked about more, now we're going to introduce the concept of less. The way we really want to start that is very practically, and again, fostering that idea of using all the different vocabulary as you go along. So we're going to start very simply by just using a few practical activities that will really get the idea of less into your child's head. And what we're going to start with is some comparison. We're going to be comparing some piles practically. So, James, here are two piles of cubes. Can you tell me which one is less? Which one is the smaller pile? So using that variety of vocabulary with your child so that they're getting used to the different ideas that there are lots of words that mean the same thing. Okay, so which one is less? Which one has less in it? Good job, well done. And then I'm gonna swap them around, close your eyes. And you're going to tell me which one has less. Now, this time, you're going to have three piles. Okay, tell me which one has less. <gasps> okay. Which one has less now? Good job. How do you know it has less? Because one, two, three, four. Okay. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is seven a bigger number than four? Yes. Is four a smaller number than seven? Yes. Yes. So, yes, you are correct. This one has less. And less means smaller, doesn't it? Yes. So we're going to think about moving on to the another activity. And this activity is what we would really call sorting. And we're going to think about sorting different piles with the idea of less. So this time, James, I'm going to give you a few different piles of objects. Okay. Do you see them? Yes. We've got mushy monsters and we've got cubes. And this time we're going to think about less than a number, okay? And I'm going to ask you to choose a pile. So really sorting into less than piles. So I'm going to ask you, can you find a pile or sort these piles into numbers that are less than three? Okay. So can you put all the less than three over here? and the ones that are not less than three over here. So we're going to look at each pile, James, and you're going to tell me, is it less or smaller than three okay. or not? Okay, so first of all, this pile. Is this less or smaller than three? Smaller. Okay, so we're going to put it over here in the smaller than three pile. Okay, look at this pile. Is this less or smaller than three? Yes. Is it? How many have you got? One, two, three, four. Is that smaller than three? No. Oh dear. So where we have to put it on? This side. Yes. Okay. All right, look at this pile. Is this less or smaller than three? Yes. So where's it going to go? Yes, over here. Good. All right, have a look at this one. Is this less or smaller than three? No. Okay, how do you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that a smaller number than three? No. So where is it going to go? Good job. Okay, this one. Is this less or smaller than three? Smaller. How do you know? One, two. Is two smaller than three? Yes. Good. So where is it going to go? Here? Oh, over there. Good job. So again, letting your child just explore that, choose different numbers, you can really make a game out of it and keep using that variety of vocabulary. We also want to now move on to the skill of comparison, but again, focusing on that idea of less. Your child has already addressed the idea of more, so we want to now start to compare those different concepts so that your child has a really good understanding. So this time, James, I'm going to ask you to compare some piles, okay? okay? This time I'm going to think, you're going to think about three things. So you have to listen to my questions, okay? okay. So let's put our piles back, okay? Okay, um, and I'm going to get some letters as well, look. Okay. okay, and I'm going to get some more matching monsters. Okay. All right. This time, I want you to find me two piles that have more than four. 
Okay. Do you think you can find two piles that yeah. have more than four? Yeah. Right, have a look and see. Right, count them and check. One, two, three, four, five. And always encouraging your child to point to the object so that they get that one-to-one -one correlation. Okay, is five bigger than... What number did I tell you? Four! Good, yes. And is there another one that's bigger than four? Let's have a look. Or more than four? Good. Well done. Good job. Right, putting the piles back. This time I want you to find me something that is less than six. Smaller than six. Okay. Two. Good boy. Can you <coughs> find me another one? Two. Good. Two. One. Okay. This time I want you to find me one that is the same two piles that are the same as two or are equal to two. They're two piles that have the same number. Okay. The same number. So any piles that are the same as two. One, two, what? Move two, them over two. to the side for me. That's got two. That's got two. And that's got two. Good boy. Well done. So really just using that different vocabulary, using that different questioning to really start to idea, get that idea of comparing those different words and comparing those different concepts. Now this time, James, we're going to think about something new, something a bit different. And this is again where we want to really get the idea of less. And this time I'm just going to talk about how we can make less. So this time, James, I'm going to ask you to do something to this pile. Do you think you can do something to it for me? Yes. So it's a big tar. All right. And I'm going to ask you, do you think you could make this tar smaller? Yes. What could you do to it to make it smaller? Break it! Oh no, okay, right. So break it. Is it smaller now? Is it smaller? No! <laughs> now yeah. break it again. You're going to break it again and make it even smaller? Okay. Good job. So now do you have less? Do you have a smaller number now? Two! We've only got two. Okay. Right. Put your tar back together again. Okay. Alright. Tell me how many you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Okay, do you think you could make a smaller number? Yes. Okay, make a smaller number. So you had nine. How many have you got now? One, two, three! Are you sure? No! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six! Is nine a bigger number than six? Is six a smaller number than nine? Yes. So now you've got less. Oh dear. Okay. So again, just getting your the idea that less means taking away, means that the number is getting smaller, that the number is smaller. And what we're going to do is we're going to think about little games that you might also play with your child. And we're going to think about a little dice game. Okay? Now usually we use dice to add up and to think about how much more we've got, but this game's going to be a bit different, James. Okay. This time it's the person who has less, who has the smaller number that gets the points, okay? So we're going to use this whiteboard, okay? And I'm going to put James's name at the top, and I'm going to put Mummy over here, and we're going to get some points, okay? Are you ready? So it's the person who has the smallest number or who has less that gets to be the winner. It's up to you if you want to work on number recognition, you might want to use a dice with numbers on it. But if you still are working on that idea of counting, then use a dice with um, a traditional dice with the little dots on it. So what we want to do is we're going to throw the dice and we're going to use a mixture of dice for this one. I'm going to throw it. And then you're going to throw it, and then we're going to decide who has less, okay? okay? Do you want to go first? Yes. Okay, right. So who's going to be the person who gets the point? The person with the big number, or the person with the small number? The big number. Are you sure? Yes. Listen to again, okay? The person who gets the smallest number gets the point. Okay. So tell me, are you? is it the person with the big number, or the small number that gets the point? The small number. Good, right, good. Now we know the rules. All right, okay. 
Right, what number do you hope you're going to get? One! One, that's good. Good, so again, just fostering that vocabulary and that idea all along. Okay, right, you go first. Okay. Right, throw the dice and throw it to gently, please. Oh, three, right. I'm going to write three here beside your name. Okay, mommy's going to throw the dice. Okay. <gasps> Mommy got one. So who gets the point this time? Next time I think you might be the winner. Who's Mommy. going to get the point? Oh, Mommy's going to get the points. We're going to do a ticket, Mommy. Right, this time we're going to use different dice. This might be a lucky dice for you, James. Okay. Like, my this time got to be the biggest number. Oh, no, no. That's a different game. We'll play that game later on. Okay, let's see if you can get the smallest number this time. Okay, no pressure. Right, off you go. What did you get? One! <laughs> oh, do you think Mummy can beat you? No. No, why not? Because I got one. And what does one mean? Is that the smallest number? Yes! Okay, well, let's see. What if help? What happens if Mummy gets a one? She wins. No, it would be a draw, wouldn't it? Right, you ready? <gasps> what did Mummy get? A six. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you want to give yourself a tick? Yes. Okay, give yourself a tick. Okay. Oh, that's a lovely big tick. So as you can see, it can be a really fun game and it's just an easy way of using something that you've got probably in the house that's not going to cost a lot of money to make or it's not going to cost a lot of money to buy. You can. It's using equipment that you've got around the house just to play simple little games like that. And as you can see, it's very enjoyable and you get a little bit of competition going. If you've got other children in the house, they can also join in. And sometimes it's even nice to just allow siblings to play if you've got an older child at home. But really, it's really just reinforcing that idea of that concept of less and just keeping revisiting that vocabulary so that your child has a really good Mommy. basic understanding.